It's working. It's working. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So welcome guys to the channel. And if this is your first time here, I'll say welcome to you. Big thumbs up to you. And in the meantime, you can give me a big thumbs up as well. Just, you know, like, like button and I will feel it. So today we're, we're here in Reykjavik, uh, where we will be testing the new Betaflight 4.5. And this new Betaflight is game changing when it comes to uh, GPS rescue. So let's just go in and see how I set up my GPS. Yeah, let's go and do it. All right, so now we are in Betaflight and the first thing you need to do is to go ahead and get the latest Betaflight 10.10. And since this one just came out, um, let's just go ahead and download it. So we just go all the way down and I have a Windows, so I would just get that one and I will put uh, this link down to the description so you can just go and check it out. Betterflight, and here my PC will say that crap, but let's just go ahead and run anyway. So now the installation is finished and we can just launch the Betterflight and let's just close this page and close that one. And now let's just close, uh, connect your flight controller. So now when you open um, better flight you just have to go to preset backup um, and it will just come wherever you want to save it and then we go to the update and you have to enable the expert mode and show release candidate so I just leave everything as default and you come here and load firmware and you flash firmware and you have created backup go ahead and connect the good thing is with the latest better flight, you don't need to do any conversion. If you have a really good tune from better flight 4.4, you can just copy that and put it on 4.5. So this is really good. I will just control A, control C, copy everything from here and go to the CLI and do the same thing. Control V, enter. Everything is perfect and it will just restart by itself. You go in to the port. Uh, here's my DJI, all right, that's good. My controller, that's good. And then on the UART 4, this is where my GPS is and I just put it as a GPS. I didn't do any changes, so I just leave it. The configuration and you have to enable the GPS. Throttle your pitch and well right everything is fine my arming perfect 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 so all this is good so we go in mode um my my arming switch which is this one here and then here i have my angle mode because you will need your angle mode uh i will explain why in a, in a minute and the user if you buy the um, uh, LED from iFlight, then copy it and place in the CLI, and then you will create this user mode. And this one is to activate um, the light, but you can just place it wherever you want. And then here's where magic happen. I usually, I think from default it says none, but for me, I just leave it on auto detect. So technically now you are all fine but there's a few more things that we have to do just to, to make sure that everything works. So here, what I did was um, I changed some of those values. You can copy this if you want to, uh, but some of those are changed. I think the maximum pitch, I put it at 60, just because I live in Norway above the Arctic, and sometimes there is a lot of wind. I need the joint to be pitching harder to come back home. I think as well, like the return to to home ground i think it was lower and i put it at 10 because yeah you don't have to when you fail safe the quad usually this is stage one and the stage one what it does is keep the quad going the same direction as it was going so if you were diving 
you know, or you were going forward and failsafe happened, the quad will just keep going forward for 1.5 seconds and then the GPS will kick in. But for me, I love cruising really close to the mountains. I don't trust that 1.5 second. I want my quad to automatically go to GPS rescue. Yeah, so those are the things that I change and you can just look and compare to yours and, and fix it. All right, guys, we make it to uh, this spot and we're going to test out the Beta Flight 4.5 especially the return to home pretty empty around here and pretty sick locations and uh so the idea is to send the drone somewhere around there and uh do a couple of tests and see how good is the gps rescue so let's just get into it and uh call it a day so what i usually do is that while i'm driving i have my uh battery on front of the car on the floor it gets warm and uh, it's not cold when I start flying and that way I get better flight time and uh, use the battery even a little bit better and uh, so now I can feel like the battery is not cold at all uh, perfect temperature and that will give you a little bit better uh, flight performance so yeah I'm still flying the original DJI antennas on this one I don't have any third party because those those works really good for me so so yeah the idea is to use that spot as my landing spot and then when I come back to land hopefully I land on the same spot or at least close by yeah I have uh, 20 satellite I don't know if you can see it here I have 20 satellite so that's pretty good and uh, let's just send it all right, so what I will do, I will go over here. I'm up here. And then, yep, I switch. And the quad is coming back. Here is the light. From here. Use my hand. Ooh! That's a success. That was a success, guys. This is what we call auto landing of beta flight so now let's do a proper fail safe where my controller will be off and then yeah let's hope let's hope it's come back so now i will do a reboot where i unplug the drone and then i will plug it back let's go here's a proper reboot and we place the drone on the ic icy park and uh yeah uh, wish me luck guys it's a bit hard to do with the gloves Receiver still connected. Receiver still connected. Receiver still connected. Yep. Yeah. Now it says RX lost. My controller is off. Completely off, no light, no life, and oh my god, this is crazy, guys! It's it, it it's working, it's working, guys. Here, I don't know if you can see it. It's 
It's working, guys. It's working. It's working. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This is crazy. Look at this. Landed exactly. Well, not exactly where it took off. It took. I take off from from the ice here, and yo, bro, my control is totally off. Like now, I will be turning it on. A better flight was, you know, used to be the worst when it comes to GPS rescue, and therefore they call it GPS rescue, not return to home. But I can confirm that this is return to home, guys, because we were talking about yeah, one meter of inaccuracy. You know, like when you're cruising the mountains and suddenly you you lose signal and you know that the quad will come back. And as I showed it, I the first one I did was flip the switch. The quad come straight back home, no problem. But the next one was the fail safe where I actually turn off the controller and uh, yeah, it came back. It came back and uh, I would say the first thing to do before you do any of that is to make sure that your GPS is working properly. And a few things to do is to check out if you have a barometer on your quad because you know with the DJI they have bottom sensors that you know control precision landing where to land but with better flight we don't have that so the way that the quad will knows the altitude is by checking the barometer and the barometer is pretty important and most of the most of the GPS I think have a barometer in it I know as every one does the first thing you do when you have a quad is to waterproofing it and when you're waterproofing your quad, make sure that you don't use, you know, you don't cover the barometer on your flight controller because that would be a problem. If the barometer cannot detect the, the, the air pressure, then you are in deep problem. If this is your first time on your channel, well, give me a thumbs up, click that subscribe button and welcome to the community. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them down to the comment section and I will answer them right there or on the next video. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one.